Wanted to share with you this picture uh, from Chad McLean. He sent it in over the weekend. Actually, rain in the green belt there from yesterday's storms. Really cool picture. If you have a weather picture like this you'd like to share, we'd love to see it. You can email us at report it at kxan.com. Let's look at our current conditions out there right now. As you're getting ready to run out the door, uh, no weather related slowdowns for you this morning. Our radar is quiet. The only thing we're watching are these very light, almost sprinkles near the LaGrange area. They're heading north toward Giddings, but again, those won't really slow anybody down. We are still tracking the system that brought us all the wet weather this week, and it's sitting up over West Texas. It's going to gradually sink south and west over the next couple of days, but while it hangs around in this area, we'll continue to watch for chances of showers and storms, especially during the afternoons. Hour by hour through your forecast it looks something like this. Here's uh, lunchtime today. Partly sunny skies, not bad. Temperatures in the 80s. By the afternoon, this is when we'll watch for a few showers and storms to develop. Chance for rain, about 30%, so not everybody will see wet weather. But throw the umbrella in your car just to be on the safe side. And then once the sun goes down, all that wet weather will taper off. And we'll see mostly cloudy skies early on your Tuesday. Right now, we're sitting at 71 degrees, comfortable temperatures, a bit muggy, but we also have overcast skies and calm wind conditions. Later on today, we'll go 93 this afternoon, mix of clouds and sunshine with that chance for a storm. And then tonight, uh, temperatures dipping to around 74 with overcast skies. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. Rain chances are not done with today. In fact, they'll stick around through Thursday, wrap up on Friday, and it's finally by next weekend when we see dry conditions across the entire central Texas area. Partly sunny skies all the way through, and you notice temperatures during the afternoons. They climb a degree or two each day. We'll be back in the upper 90s by the weekend.